Hey, it's Christian, the Work From Anywhere guy. We're back today to talk about the ultimate morning routine for the entrepreneur who wants to be productive. Except for today, we're gonna throw it all out the window. Let's get into it. A lot of times when people are talking about productivity, they're talking about activity, doing as much as humanly possible. But productivity doesn't actually mean doing all sorts of things. It means producing something. It's in the word. Productivity is producing something. So doing all these meaningless tasks on your list that aren't actually going to produce a result is not going to make your life better. So today I want to talk about the morning routine for entrepreneurs that actually matters and gets you results. The first thing we need to do as a morning routine is prioritize what needs to be done. So the exercise I like to do is take out a sheet of paper and I want you to write down the five things that you need to get done today. Now write them in order of priority. So the, the most important is gonna be number one. Second most important, number two, three, four, five. So go ahead and do that right now and I'll wait. Okay, so we're back and we're looking at the five most important things to do today and taking out a list and writing this down as the first part of our morning routine. Now I want you to go ahead, take that list and just tear it off at number one. Get rid of two through five and only look at number one. This is the only thing that should be on your list today and you should not even consider doing anything else until this task is done. Because often the most important thing is gonna be the most difficult thing to do emotionally and so oftentimes what we do is we create a huge list and then we just start checking things off that don't actually matter. And so if we just get rid of everything except for number one, don't even look at the list. If you can just get that number one thing done every day, you're gonna be so much better off. Brian Tracy calls this eating the frog. Eat the frog, the hardest thing of the day. You do it first and you don't do anything else before that. I don't know why it's called eating the frog and I've never read Brian Tracy's books, but I just know that people call it that. The second thing we have to look at is why are we doing all this stuff? It's so we can create the best possible outcome, right? But we do that by creating something, by producing something. And if we're producing something, that means usually that somebody else can consume it. And so you have to look at your day and you and say, am I creating things that other people can consume? Because that's how you make money. You become a producer in order to be a producer that makes money. You have to have consumers. That's the flip side of production. So we have to look at our list and say, which of these things are contributing to producing more of something that other people can consume? And if you're an artist, this could be music or your art. If you're an entrepreneur, this could be your product. This could be marketing that other people consume. This could be creating systems in your business that your employees consume as they go about their work. So as long as it's impacting other people, then we're on the right track for production. But if you go through your morning routine and you have 17 different things because you think this is what an entrepreneur does, and then by the end of it, you feel satisfied like, oh, I had a really productive day. Just because you've checked off the box on 17 items in your morning routine, just you have to realize that you haven't created something for somebody else. And that's the ultimate metric is, have you created something for somebody else? And again, we want to do that as the number one thing in our day, the very first thing in the morning. And the third item on our morning routine is ship something to the market. So a lot of times people make it as far as number two and they create something, they produce it, other people can consume it. But then what happens? It's not perfect. And so they never ship it to the market. So your production does not count as production unless you ship that to the market and you give it to cold hard strangers to consume. So as the third task in our morning routine, I want you to take whatever you've created that day, whether you've written something, whether it's a marketing email, whether you have improved your product and ship it out to the customers and actually get somebody to use it and then get their honest feedback. And I'm not talking about your parents, your friends, your team. I'm talking about that stranger on the internet who does not care about you at all. What do they think about what you've just created and produced for them as a consumer? Because if they don't love what you just created as a consumer, you're dead in the water. Your success depends on producing things that other people love independent of who you are and how special you think that you are. And this is a problem so many of us have is we only want to put out the best possible work and we want to feel like we're special and we never want to get yelled at by the consumer and we never want to let people down. But I can tell you as soon as you give yourself permission to not be so special and you put out work consistently, even though it's not perfect because it never will be, that's the day you become a real producer. Because somebody once told me, the minute you put out work, you're better than the work you've just released because you've learned from that and you've grown from that. And the minute after it's put out there, you're better and you think, well, I could have done better and you don't want to put that work out there. So you're never going to be happy with your latest piece of work. You have to release it anyways. 
Now, if you've done these three things, I don't care what else you do. You can meditate, you can journal, you can drink water, you can get up at 5 a.m. But the truth is, it does not matter if you get up at 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. It does not matter if you journal and meditate or you don't. There are people that succeed doing all of these things. The only reason they're recommended is to get you in the mindset to actually produce something. And that is the only piece that matters. So if you don't produce, if you do everything else in your morning routine perfect and you never create something and ship it to the market, then you haven't actually won the day. So again, three tips for the most productive routine of an entrepreneur. Take out your five most important tasks of the day, write them down, cross out two through five, and you're stuck with number one. That's your one thing for the day. Number two, before you do anything else, produce something that somebody else can actually consume. If you haven't created something somebody can consume, you're not being productive. Journaling and marking off your morning routine is not productive. Answering your emails is not productive. Creating something that is an everlasting asset that people can consume 10 years from now is true productivity. And then number three, our production does not matter unless we ship it to the market. So see if you can ship something to the market. To strangers who do not know you, do not care about you, and do not think you're special. And if you can consistently ship every single day, that's how you have the most success as an entrepreneur. So just so you know, I'm a huge fan of all the other pieces of a morning routine, but people get so bogged down in these details to avoid what's actually important, which is the production, which is the hard part because it's emotionally difficult to put yourself on the line and vulnerable and be judged by the public. So go ahead and, you know, I wake up at 5.30 a.m. I meditate every day. I journal, I exercise, I do all these things that are important so that I can prep myself to actually produce. But if I don't step up and produce that day, I know I've lost the day. My morning routine didn't mean anything. Now, years ago, my morning routine got so long, it was probably an hour or two long in the morning. By the time I was done, I had spent all my creative energy and I had nothing left to actually produce something for other people. So let me know in the comments, how do you feel about changing your perspective on what a morning routine is and what's important. And what if you just made that one thing, producing something, getting it out to the market, and then you have the rest of the day to all those other things in your routine that make you feel good, that keep the engine running so that we can go out there and produce more. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what's your favorite part of your morning routine. Did you like this? Did you not like it? And don't forget, if you want more like this, subscribe to the channel right now, smash that like button, and I'll see you on the next one.